We start things off tonight with sad news out of Marquette County, Michigan. Rod Nilsen, student, the secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, Consumer Protection, has passed away. It is news we've learned just in the last hour and information we first reported on Channel3000.com. News 3's Mark Lovacott is in our news center with more on this developing story, Mark. Eric, sources close to the family confirm this tragic news to us. They say Nilsa soon drowned in Lake Superior. This afternoon, we're told Nil Sassoon's family was in Marquette working on a Habitat for Humanity home and heading to Lake Superior after a day's work was a regular occurrence. Rod Nil Sassoon, again, head of the Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection since 2003, appointed by Governor Doyle. He lives in DeForest and has a long history of agriculture in the state. According to the Marquette Police Department, Nilsa student was swimming in Lake Superior and started having some difficulty. He was found floating about 50 minutes later, about 500 yards from where he went under. Rescue workers spent about 20 minutes trying to revive him, but were unsuccessful. He was transferred to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Again, Nelson soon appointed as Secretary of the Department of Ag, Trade and Consumer Protection back in 2003. He appointed his Deputy Secretary, Randy Murnowski, who could not be reached tonight, and his Executive Assistant, Marty Hennert. Hennert said he had no comment but more information would be released tomorrow. Nilsa Stoon has received numerous awards for excellence in his role as Ag Secretary. Prior to that, he served as President and Chief Executive Officer of the Wisconsin Federation of Cooperatives for 24 years. Once again, tragic news in our state's ag industry. Secretary Rod Nilsa Stoon drowned this afternoon after swimming in Lake Superior. We await comment from the Department of Ag and from the governor. We'll have the latest on Channel3000.com as well. Sad news indeed. Mark Lovacott reporting in our news center. Mark, thank you very much.